Windlass 8 has been designed for fast and efficient performance. This video focuses on the basics of working with Windlass. Over the course of the tutorial, you'll see how easily you can create an analysis setup. Opening files, creating histograms, drawing regions and gates, and developing reports are all covered in this tutorial. Let's get started. Click the Open FCS File button on the ribbon bar. In the File Open dialog, navigate to and select the three sample bone marrow files, and then click Open. In the Create Histograms dialog, select Forward Scatter and Side Scatter, and click Add to List. The histogram will be added to the list to be created. Then we'll select CD10, CD20, and CD45. Click Combinations Mode and then click Add to List. Click OK and WinList will create the chosen histograms. We can now create regions on the histograms. In the Light Scatter histogram, let's make a freehand region R1. With R1 drawn, now click on the red hotspot in the middle that we call the Cascade Gate Spot. Hold down the Shift key and click and drag the line to the title bar of the histograms to be gated. Let up the shift key before clicking the last title bar. Click the Q button, meaning quadstat, in the lower left corner of each of the gated histograms. A quadstat region will appear on each histogram, and a results window for each quadstat will be displayed. Arrange the results windows so that they are visible and not covering the quadstats. To adjust the quadstat, click and hold on the region label in the center of the quadstat and drag the vertex to a new position and release the mouse. Statistics will be updated automatically as the regions are moved. You can double click the title bar of a results window to select the regions of interest and the various statistics you may need. When ready, click OK to close the dialog. Click the Report button on the ribbon bar and resize the New Report window so that it is not covering histograms or results. On any of the histograms, move the mouse over the icon on the left side of the title bar and drag it onto the report space. This will put a live copy of the histogram on the report. We can do the same thing for the other histograms in any order and note that the histogram graphics will be updated whenever the underlying data change, say by moving a region or by adding a gate. You can also add results windows as needed, and they can be resized to display all of the results. Once added, simply clicking on and dragging a report element will move it to a desired position on the report layout. We can also add keywords, alerts, multigraphs, text boxes, and various graphics to the report now or later on to further customize the layout. WinList has created a batch of files to analyze in the Batch Processing Toolbar, which appears at the bottom left of the workspace. Click the Edit button to display the Edit Batch Options dialog to see the various options that are available during batch processing. For example, we may want to enable Replay on Open to read the entire data file when it's opened. When done with the selection, click OK to close the dialog. Click the Next Batch Item button on the Batch Toolbar to advance to the Next List Mode file. At that point, we can adjust the regions and graphics and statistics will be updated in the workspace and on the report. Click the Next Batch Item button to load the next and last file, and again all of the results and graphics will update to display this new file. This would be a good time to save the protocol, which will allow you to recreate your complete analysis setup whenever needed. It is often preferable to save it as a protocol bundle, a self-contained version of the protocol, that can easily be shared with other WinList users. With a protocol or a protocol bundle, when you open WinList and see the workspace, 
You can choose a protocol and completely recreate your entire analysis setup with just one click, ready for the next set of files. In this tutorial, we have seen how quickly and efficiently WinList helps you build an analysis setup. In just a few minutes, we were able to create histograms, draw regions, apply gates, and generate quadstat statistics. We created a new report and dragged the elements we wanted onto the report and processed a batch of files through the analysis setup and then saved the protocol. Thanks for watching.